arrested. Let's get you more breaking news on this story. News as it's coming in. Sanjay Raut's brother arriving there. Sanjay Raut to be presented in the sessions court today. His medical examination to be conducted before that. Now, Sanjay Raut's brother arrives at the ED office. A number of other names also cropping up in the entire scam. Ankit, our correspondent there, to tell us uh, what's happening. Ankit, it's over to you. Take us through the events as they're unfolding right now. Sanjay Raut uh, to be presented at the session's court in a short while. So the latest is that there has been a development. Sunil Raut, the brother of Sanjay Raut, has just reached. He has reached in the same car in which Sanjay Raut was brought to the ED's office yesterday. The windows are down. Uh, the media has surrounded him. There he is. He's stepping out of the car. We're going to ask him, Sunil, Sunil Raut, what is the link between Sanjay Raut and Praveen Raut? Sunil Raut, Sunil Raut, what is your strategy? How, how are you going to oppose the ED's remand? Sunil Raut, what is your strategy? Sunil Raut, what is the Uddhav Thakre faction Sena going to do? So, Sunil Raut, what is your response? Sunil Raut, what is going to happen at the Shiv Sena meeting? Sunil Raut, do you feel let down by the NCP not backing you? Sunil Raut, where is the Shiv Sena's protest today? Sunil Raut, Sunil Raut, what is the link of Sanjay Raut with Praveen Raut? And there he is, he's gone inside, he didn't answer our questions. There he is, he's just at the periphery. He's going to be entering, I think, the ED's office. Let's see, he's waiting outside for the moment. That is Sunil Raut, the brother of Sanjay Raut. He was present yesterday as well. You'll remember we was right before it was uh, formally announced that Sanjay Raut has been arrested. Sunil Raut had been taken in and he was shown the arrest memo and he has turned up again. Interesting to note, he's standing outside. He's not going into the ED's office. And we can expect things to pick up now, certainly because we know formally that there is someone who is from the Sanjay Raut camp who is present there at the ED's office. We asked him a number of questions, but he did not answer. Uh, but he is here, he has turned up here in the same vehicle in which he has turned up here in the same vehicle in which uh, Sanjay Raut had yesterday been brought to the Enforcement Directorate's office. That's their personal car which we had followed yesterday while he was taken from Bhandup all the way to the ED's office. So now there is a person very much from the Sanjay Raut camp who is at the Enforcement Directorate, uh, also a politician. And so Sunil Raut is here. He did not answer any of our questions. You heard all our questions to him. He also did hear them, but he was not speaking, he was not very forthcoming. Before he entered, there was a period while he was sitting inside the car where he maintained a stony face. He did not answer, he did not react in any way. And we tried to ask him what their legal strategy is going to be. Remember, we was the ED is to take Sanjay Raut out of the ED's office right now and take him for a medical checkup at JJ Hospital, subsequent to which he will be taken to the special PMLA court, where from what Alicia tells us, 10 days of remand will be sought of Sanjay Raut. So Sunil Raut has arrived for those proceedings to take place. These proceedings were delayed. Of course, it was a very late night yesterday. Sunil Raut was there the entire time. He had spoken to us as well. At that time, he had given a justification for the 11 lakh rupees that were found in cash that was said to be unexplained income as noted by the ED. He had said that that cash, and he's still standing there, uh, he had said that that cash was a leftover amount from Aditya Thakre's visit to Ayodhya a short while earlier in with Sanjay Raut had accompanied him and that it was party fund. So that was the explanation that was then given. However, not much of an explanation has come in on various other money transactions that are involved in this Patra Chol redevelopment case and scam that totals to about 1034 crore rupees according to the ED in various transactions that have taken place. We're going to show you once again the visuals of the enforcement director's office. You can see we can see how there are a number of officials here. These officials, as per the insignia on their lapels, is of the riot uh, control police. And so they are here so that there is a no untoward incident that is to take place. Also at the gate of the ED, I don't know whether it's visible or not, but there are uh, officials of uh, the various security agencies. They look like some central security uh, personnel who are present inside there. And now with Sunil Raut having arrived, 
there is an expectation that we are likely to catch our first glimpse today of Sanjay Raut as well. Remember viewers, he was supposed to be taken to uh, the JJ hospital at 9.30 a.m. That was the provisional input. Of course, that did not quite pan out because uh, there was essentially no one here at 9.30. Um, people started coming in and officials started coming in shortly after that. We are now almost on uh, uh, the verge of noon, it's quarter to noon here and uh, he is to be taken as per process to the hospital for a medical and then produced in court for the remand hearing. This now is a uh, raid and a saga that is played out for uh, over 24 hours, well over 24 hours, almost 30 hours now since the questioning began yesterday at Bhandu by the Enforcement Directorate officials at Sanjay Raut's residence, it's called Maitri. Since then, 24 uh, to 30 hours have elapsed, but now we are going to catch a glimpse of him right now. Well, all eyes uh, on uh, Sanjay Raut, uh, his brother, as his brother arrives at the ED office uh, in a short while from now, he is to be presented in uh, the special PMLA court in, uh, in the Patra Landscam case.